Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and if you are a Unity developer or interested in AI, Unity have just launched a contest that might be of great interest to you, especially because there's $100,000 worth of prizes available. Now keep in mind that's $100,000 total prize pool, not a $100,000 grand prize, but still, I believe the first prize is ten grand in cash, so there is definitely some weight behind this contest. And basically, it is all about creating ML agents, creating artificial intelligence agents using the Unity Toolkit. And what you see in front of you right now is the app they created. Now, I don't think there are any camera controls, which makes it kind of hard to run. But what you're trying to do is get your agent to walk through the level as fast as possible. See, I'm on floor one. Now I'm on floor two. And it's actually going to get slightly more and more complicated as we go. So eventually I'm going to have to start gathering keys. The, the dynamically generated mazes are going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. But this is entirely meant as a test bed for running AI code. So let's take a look at the contest and what's involved behind it, because this is actually really hard to play with a fixed camera. So let me just exit out of that, close that down, and we will take a look at the announcement. So here you can see, this is a blog post up on Unity's, for, uh, Unity's blog. I will, of course, link it like I always do. Uh, but you'll see, test the limits of intelligent systems. Today we're announcing upcoming launch. By the way, upcoming. So this is actually launching in, I think it's February the 11th. We'll see that in detail in a second. So you've got some time to get up to speed with their AI technologies before this actually launches. Ah, uh, but where was I? Upcoming launch of the Obstacle Tower Challenge a first of its kind artificial intelligence challenge uh, designed to test the capabilities of intelligent agents and accelerate the research and development of AI. The Obstacle Tower Challenge, which is the game we just played, uh, will be a com new competitive competition aimed at testing the vision control, planning, and generalization abilities of AI agents, capabilities that have yet to be fully tested together. So as you see, they created this level, and we just saw we were going through an early floor here. Eventually, again, they'll be adding keys to it, complexity to it, and you see the floor layout will get more and more difficult. Now, you can't just train it to use a static floor layout because this is procedurally generated. So you're actually going to have to give your agent logic enough to get through it. And the challenge, of course, is how far you can get and how fast you can get there. Um, and you can see here the Obstacle Tower Challenge officially begins at February the 11th, 2019 at basically 12.01 a.m. At this time, entrants can review all the rules and regulations, download our starter kit, and begin training their agents. Participants will have the opportunity to win prizes in the form of cash, travel vouchers, Google Cloud Platform credits valued at over $100,000. So a bit more detail on that was clarified here. Um, you can see first brace, oh, not sorry, it's not 10 grand in cash. So we've got uh, the challenge begins Monday, February 11th, as I just said. First place entry will be awarded $10,000 in cash. Okay, I guess it is. $10,000 in cash, up to $2,500 in credits uh, towards travel to AI or ML machine learning uh, focused conferences or, and credits redeemable at the Google Cloud platform. Um, so you're looking at $1,250 in total prizes there. And the total value of the challenge is more than $100,000 from cash and prizes all spread around. So how do you get started with this? Well, to be completely honest, I have no idea. Um, there is a GitHub page. This is where they send you to go get started. And my goodness, this needs some instructions because what they've got here is not sufficient. This, um, this repository that they've given us here is empty. Um, and then the examples are a handful of PNG files. So basically what it boils down to is you Git clone this repository and run this setup. Uh, but I ran it at least for Python 2.7 and it grabbed a whole bunch of Python dependencies, but that's it. So I have no idea how you actually get started with this actual project. And hopefully they do kind of clarify they're getting started a little bit more uh, because this whole bit is is insufficient. Now, what this here though is, is the zip file with the binaries I was running to start this example. So if you want to get in there, you can check those out. They've pre-built them for various different platforms. So that's the environment you are running in. Uh, maybe that's all you need. And then you see to see an example of how to interact with the environment, see this notebook, and then it's this work in progress edit page. So hopefully the, the documentation gets a lot better so people can actually figure out what the heck they're doing here. But ultimately, the technology you will be using in all this is Unity Technologies um, Machine Learning Agents Toolkit, uh, which is available. Again, I will toss this link down below. Uh, this is up on GitHub. And fortunately, here you get much better documentation. So this is kind of their AI kit. Uh, the documentation home is right there. Uh, resources for setting up ML agents. And this is what you'll use to create the artificial intelligence controlling your player to go through the actual contest. Now, how you get your ML agent into 
Uh, this guy right here, I, I have no idea. I need to continue to look at it. But my first steps running through uh, their instructions here, uh, it, it did not work. It did not do anything for me other than set up a bunch of Python dependencies in various folders on my machine. Uh, so I don't know how to run this and hopefully that part gets better. But the actual ML agent stuff, as you can see, is actually uh, pretty well documented. So if you want to get up and running using artificial intelligence in Unity, they are presenting this basically contest uh, um, that, as I mentioned earlier, is starting on February the 11th. Now, the interesting thing is, I don't think I saw anywhere. I'll go back here for a second. Uh, two weeks for our kickoff, mark the counter. Yeah, they never actually say how long this goes for. Uh, and I'm, I'm not entirely certain how, how long it does go for. That'd be interesting to find out as well. If you're from Unity and you can tell me when this is ending, please let me know comments down below. Um, and if you can give me a bit more, or it, it just Unity feedback in general, this this is not sufficient getting started information, uh, at least for me. Maybe I'm just being dumb here, but I think you're missing something here that people will know to get up and running. So hopefully the, the, the getting started documentation or material does get a little bit better so people can actually use this. But it's still, it's an interesting competition. I love these little AI projects and I love that they gave you a sandbox in which to work with them. I also love $10,000 in cash and I don't have any aspirations towards ever winning this, but I, that is definitely a motivational piece. So this is the Unity uh, um, $100,000 AI challenge, as I've dubbed it, or what did they call it? They called it the Obstacle Tower Challenge. Um, yeah, I like my name better. So that is coming in uh, February 11th. So we're looking about two weeks from now. This officially kicks off. And hopefully by then we'll also know when it ends. But if you wanted to actually compete, now you've got two weeks to actually figure out how to get all this stuff set up. If Especially if uh, the getting started documentation doesn't get a little bit better, uh, you may need it. Also, if you have some instructions on how to actually take, like if, if you know how to make this project usable, uh, please do let us know in the comments down below. I'm sure that will be useful for anybody that's looking to actually get involved in this project. All right, that's it for now. Uh, let me know what you think. Comments down below and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.